Hey there my dudes, I am Laddie and welcome to another video where I have messy hair, of course, because I am trash. Anyway, this video um, is inspired by recent events and even though I am a channel that does sort of life experience stuff and more social stuff and maybe story stuff, I'm not really a story time YouTuber. I have spoken about experiences in my past but I'm not specifically that, I prefer to do reactions and other things like that. Um, but. Based on recent events, I decided to make this video on times that people have not known that I was trans. And first off, you may be thinking that's kind of a weird premise for a video because obviously there's going to be a lot of times where people don't just assume that I'm trans. It's not like people are just going to randomly like assume that I'm trans all of the time. And probably most of the time people don't know that I'm trans when I'm speaking to them. Um, <clears throat> but the main reason for this video isn't just random times that people have like misgendered me or something. It's times that people haven't known I was trans um, and then like realised I was trans and been like, oh shit, oh this is awkward. And also times that um, <clears throat> people have been saying shit about trans people and then and then like realised or like just not known that I was trans and like I was in the room and just honestly like it, some funny stories have come out of this. So the recent event that happened is, I'm not going to say any names, but whoever's watching if they're in the, if they were in the room they know, they know what went on. Um, I was at work experience at BAE Systems and um, <clears throat> Literally, I, I was I was there for the week and it was really cool because there were so many cute engineers, might I add, and navy boys. Oh my god, hello! It was like, the week was going along, I mean, it was, it was pretty good, it was a bit, you know, we were just making a toolbox, it was a bit of a drag in some ways, but otherwise there were many cute engineers. During the week, it was all fine. However, this one guy in my group, he started making little remarks that were really kind of awkward. Um, and I didn't mind them as much, but it was just so awkward when he asked them. It was just like, oh, it, it was things like, he showed me a picture of, bearing in mind everyone else in the group knows that I'm trans and we've spoken about it and stuff. And he shows me a picture of this girl. And he says, oh, would you, would you, what would you rate her out of 10? And I went, oh yeah, she's a full 10 out of 10 because she was some pop star and she was um, very attractive. And, and he goes, oh, would you like to look like her? You don't know that I'm... I was like, that's the moment where I was like, wait, do you know that I'm trans or are you just like joking? I didn't say it, but he was like, yeah, would you like to look like her? I was like, no, I wouldn't. He goes, why? She's beautiful. I'm like, um, I'm not really going for the beautiful look. So anyway, we moved on with working because this was in the middle of when we were actually like polishing down some like plates of metal and stuff. And then one more thing is I went in, I went into the locker rooms and we were all in there and I was just getting, getting out of my, well I was not, I was getting back into my overalls after the break time. And he goes, he goes, wait, do you go to the boys' toilets? And I was like, I was like, uh, no, I go to the girls. And he was like, what? Why? And I was like, um, I don't know, it's just easier. Uh, and I was like, it's just a random question that he asked me. And so I left the locker room like, it's fair enough him asking me, but it's just a series, it was just, it was such a random moment and everyone in the locker room was just like, ooh, <laughs> they were doing like that awkward sort of like, well. <laughs> And then I left the locker room and apparently to one of my mates, the guy that asked me what bathroom I'm, I'm in, apparently um, I go to, apparently um, he asked one of my mates, he was like, so if he's called a he, then why does he go to the female bathrooms? And the person was just like, 
I don't, I don't know, and just like left and told me what happened. And then, see that was just fair enough. I was thinking, oh, maybe he's just, he's just trying to suss it out. Maybe he's just trying to understand what, you know, being transgender is, um, what I am and what's going on, because I do do some contradictory things. I'm quite feminine and I also go to the girls' rooms, but that's only because at the moment, before my transition, it's just more comfortable to go there. Uh, but there was this one time that was the most entertaining thing ever. Oh my God, it's too good. We were sitting in the room, it was, it was the room, waiting room for where we go in lunches and we eat our lunches and stuff like that. So it was the group who bearing in mind all know I'm transgender and this one guy, my mate Josh who's been on like videos here before, he was speaking about his LGBT group. Oh yeah, well my LGBT group is mainly filled with trans people and the guy, just bursts out laughing. I mean, he bursts, I mean, it's the most hysterical laughing I've ever heard him do. He's just like, <laughs> like fucking like, fucking proper chest laugh. I don't even know what that means, but like, just laughing so loud. And then everyone else starts laughing because like, one of my mates as well starts laughing because it's like, oh, the laugh is, the laugh was so funny. And then I was like, wait a minute, why are you laughing at the, why are you laughing at that? And then I was like, why are you laughing at the words trans people? And he goes, <laughs> trans people, that's funny. And, um, oh my God. And then I was just, um, I was like, wait, why is trans people funny? And he, and he continued laughing. And then, um, uh, my mate as well was, um, was laughing too, and fucking, <laughs> and then I was like, but why though? He goes, I don't know, just like, trans people, it's so, like, I don't understand why you change your gender, it's so weird being transgender, isn't it? And then everyone in the room went silent for a moment, Josh goes, and then a few of the other people just like, burst out laughing again, and one of the people in my class just goes, oh my god, this is the worst room you could have said this in. I think the guy thought we were laughing with him. The guy who said that being trans was like, really weird. Like, I think he must have thought that we were like, laughing with him or something. But we really weren't. We were not laughing with him. We were laughing at the fact that he just said that and like, I'm trans and he must have just not known. Oh my god, that's too funny. And like, after after he said that, he said like, oh, trans, it, it's kind of weird changing gender. I was like, okay, this guy obviously does not know that I'm trans because I don't know why he'd say it in front of me if he did. Um, but you thought he would have ca caught on by now. Like, I'm in class with him all the time. Everyone calls me he. I dress masculine. My name's Tobias. I mean, you thought maybe people would, like, catch on. I've spoken about being trans in front of this guy about a million times. You thought, you know, but I realised something, that every time I spoke about being trans in front of this guy, he always giggled. So I think he thought that whenever I spoke about it, I was, like, making a joke. And so, later in the day, we moved on from the topic, but I was still laughing about it, and we come back on another break, and he goes, he goes to me and Josh, he goes, oh, would you ever be transgender? Would you ever, like, change your gender? Like, it's a bit, like, he, he says that to us, and then literally me and Josh look at each other, and I'm like, I'm like, in, I'm in tears at this point, like, not sad tears, like, this is the funniest thing that's ever happened in my life. He was like, would you lot, would you guys become transgender I'm like oh too late for that buddy too late <laughs> I've already made that decision oh so funny I don't think he was being fully transphobic I just don't think he understands like he hasn't like learned enough about it and I guess that's where a lot of phobia or whatever starts from not knowing enough about it but like he goes yeah would you ever come transgender I was like oh no trannies Trannies are just weirdos, aren't they? It's just really weird being a tranny. Like, I don't understand why they would do that, like, change their gender. And then Josh starts, yeah, those... Tr Josh starts saying, yeah, those trannies. Like, why would they ever... Why would they ever do... Ugh, ugh, it's so disgusting, the idea of changing gender. And I go back to Josh, it was like a back and forth of us being like, oh, trannies, ooh. And, um, 
and we were doing it just to be like, you know, full on sarcasm. But I think the guy kind of took it seriously and oh my god. Anyway, I'm that that is gonna be brought out at dinner parties for like the rest of my life because that was the funniest moment. I was in tears, like actual tears. Um but then I thought when when I got home yesterday, I think that was sort of the end of the story with with that guy, but it was so funny. It was so funny. Uh, <laughs> just gonna get over that one. Anyway, when I got home, I thought what would be a great idea is if I actually decided to like make a video on the other times that people like I've had a not really negative experience I mean some of them are some of them are just funny where people didn't know I was trans and they said some shit that was like out of place oh it's so awkward but I also have another update video about my transition so um, this is gonna be the end of this video um, I do have another video that's updating everyone about what's going on with um, me, my transition, what's going on in my life, what things I have coming up this year. Um, I have a lot to look forward to this year, so. I will see you guys in another video. I hope you enjoyed this weird little ranty story time video. It isn't really a rant, it's just some funny occurrences. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in another video. Please like, comment, comment. Let me know what you're feeling. Like if you enjoyed, I don't mind either way. Um, and subscribe because we just got over, well we're over like 3,000 and like 10, 3,020 now. So like I, I, I'm excited for all the new people that are here, or new people that came along and have been, have been subbing to me. Thank you guys so much. Um, it, I couldn't have done it without you guys, quite literally, because otherwise it would just be me speaking to a camera alone. Um, and that'll be fair enough, because I still enjoy it. I enjoy giving it my content to whoever may watch, even if it may be three people, or 300 people. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.